Welcome to the New St. John Fellowship Telecast, a place where we are becoming an end-time people for the end-time church. Our overseer is Pastor Clarence Stevens. We are located at 1615 North Toby Avenue, P.O. Box 1760, Gonzales, Louisiana 70707. Our telephone number is area code 225-644-2949. Our email is nsjohn at newstjohn.com. Our website is www.newstjohn.com. Sunday morning worship service will be held at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night Bible study will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. If you need help, we're compelled to pray with you and for you. Our major concern is that the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are saved. Make sure you let nothing keep you from doing the will of God. We ask God to bless you for watching. Touch. Hallelujah. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. You can do it right now. You can do it right now. You can do it right now. You can change your life right now. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Say it together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. God, give him all you got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Aleluya. 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 Oh. Aleluya. Aleluya. Yeah. I know your eyes. I know you the good God. I know he is a merciful God. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Help me say yeah. Help me say yeah. Help me. Yes, he will. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. You can thank him right now. You can thank him right now. Thank you, Lord. You don't have to move, you don't have to move. Just let somebody know you love them. You got to love them. You got to love them. You got to. I don't care what they did to you, you got to love them. You got to love them. I don't care what they said about you, you got to love them. You got to love them. That's your responsibility. You got to love them. You got to. You got to. You got to, you got to love them. I don't care what they did. You got to love them. Hallelujah. That shows strength on your part. Strength when you love them in spite of. All right. All right. That's what God is looking for. That's what he's looking for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to move, you don't have to move, you don't have to move, hallelujah, you don't have to move, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh Lord, hallelujah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Somebody heart to the burn. Somebody heart to the burn. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take me in this presence. Take me. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, 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 I feel real good. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, all right. All right, God, God bless you. God bless you. Uh, I'm, let me just uh, say, I just uh, maybe plant a few seeds. And if, 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 um, if I'm not too long, if I'm too, not too long, we'll ask the Minister McGahee to come and say a few words if I'm not too long. <laughs> but, okay. But, uh, all right. But, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, mm, all right. All right. I, I just I wanted to share, share with you. You got your Bibles? Yeah. God, God is God is something I tell you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, all right, all right, all right. You got to uh, turn to Matthew the uh, the eighth chapter. Matthew eighth chapter. Matthew eighth chapter. Thank you, Lord. And I, I just uh, wanna take you away you've never heard before. Uh, and now uh, we have read this parable many times, but we have missed it. Amen. Missed it. God has to 
reveal it to you. you. You can't get it. You can't. I don't care. I don't care how hard you study. You can't get it. You can't get it. God got to reveal. It. You, 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 you got Matthew, Matthew eight chapter. Let's start with verse twenty-three for brevity. You know what happened prior to that, and they they wanted to. Uh, Christ gave the command to do what? Go to the other, to the other side. And uh, verse twenty-three. And you, know, you everybody got verse twenty-three. And now you can read it, but no faith on the come. I have to read it in your ear. I have to read it in your ear. Then faith will come. Is that is that right? You can read it, read it, and read it, and read it, and read it. Nothing going to happen. happen. Okay. But you ought to know it's there, though. I know that. So, so read to know that it's there. Uh, uh, verse, verse 23, you got that? And when he, meaning Christ, was entered into a ship, his disciples did what? Followed him. Verse 24. And behold, there arose a what? A great tempest in the sea. Insomuch that what? Covered with the wave. But he was. But what? But he was asleep. And his disciples came to him. And did what? Saying, Lord. Save us, we perish. Verse 26. And he, meaning Christ, says unto them, Why are you what? O ye of what? Little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds. Is there an S on that wind? And rebuked the what? And the sea, and there was a great calm. Verse twenty-seven. But uh, the, the 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 men said, "What?" The men did what? Saying what? What man a man is this? That what? Obey, obey him. Obey him. Obey him. All right. Okay. All right. Now, are, are you pitching in this situation? They, he told them, uh, and he, he, he was aware of, uh, he knew the future. Oh, don't you ever think he didn't know the future? But I'm repeating, it's a training process. He was training them, preparing them for some things, and and in order to get knowledge about a certain thing you have to do what go through it go through it now you you can say what you want to or however it is you cannot say with confidence that god is a healer until you've been really sick i, I don't i don't i don't mean a headache or stomach ache i don't mean that I mean, until that happens in your life, you can't testify that God is a healer. But after you've been through it, and he brought you through, oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. So, so every, every, everybody can't talk to you about healing. They can't talk to you. They can't talk to you. But somebody who's been through it. Oh. When they talk about it, you feel it because. Oh, God brought me through. It wasn't the doctor. I'm, I may have gone to the hospital. Or I may have the doctor working gave me medicine, but it wasn't that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. All right. God, get the glory. Not the doctor, not the hospital. Hallelujah. 
Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh, I'm talking to somebody now. So if you've never been there, you don't know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. But if you've been down and they gave up on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. You don't know. You can't testify that God is a way maker until after. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And after you've been through some things. They told you it'll never happen. But look God. Look at God. Look at God. God can take something that impossible and turn. Turn it around and Can I pick up a witness right there? Then when God has done that for you, you can testify. God is, God is, God is, God is a way maker. Oh, yes, he is. Come on. Uh, uh, God can take somebody and everybody's walking on. Way, way, way down. They look at you as nothing. And hallelujah. From the ghetto. But I'm here to tell you. When God reached way down. Way, way down and. Pick you up and. Turn you around. You can testify. God is. He's a way maker. Uh, uh, somebody ought to say, yeah, right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't testify and say God will feed you when you get hungry until you've been hungry. No food. Nothing in the refrigerator. Hallelujah. But God will send somebody to you on my heart. And I was told in my heart to bring you, bring you something to eat. And they bring a basket of groceries. Has that ever happened to you? Then you can say, God will, God will. Won't he feed you when you're hungry? Somebody on the holler right there. Uh, so you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't testify. You can't talk until. So sometime, sometime, sometime God will allow you to go through some things so that when you get through it and you overcome it, you'll be able to testify testify and help somebody else through what you went through you can tell them if I made it you can make it too just hold on hold on through the storm you're gonna have some rain hallelujah but what I'm, I'm here to tell you look at me Look at me, I've had some storms in my life. Oh, yes, I have. I've had some floods in, in my life. The sun didn't shine every day. Hallelujah. But I thank God. I thank God. He kept me in. He kept me in. Every time I to get a week. God, God. I felt his spirit and he sent me and I 
I was able to hold on, hold on, hold on another day. And I thank God, I thank God. Look at me now, look at me now. I've been through some things. Uh, but you can't tell it. Won't he keep you? Won't he keep you? Uh, oh, I, I, I know I don't look like what I've been through. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, I'm here to tell you, because you're going through some things, don't be discouraged. That's how God prepare people that he can really use somebody that has been through the storm been through the rain but they found a way to hold on then God can use you he'll use you he'll use you everybody God used in a big way they have been through a lot They've been through a lot. Things just didn't seem to work right for them. But they found a way to hold on. Uh, that's, who, that's who God uses. Such the biblical history. Every one of them he uses has been through a lot. They have learned how to hold on. That's what you got to learn. You got to learn how not to quit. You got to learn when people are putting you down you got to learn it's only temporary it's only temporary I'll be alright hallelujah hallelujah alright alright did, did, did I get through so, so you may get sick you may get sick you may get sick yeah, but he'll, 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 he'll either give you grace or heal you. Then, 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 uh, then you can tell the story. Okay, so some of y'all want things to happen in your life. And I'm here to tell you, don't you give up. Because God can use what you're going through. You, you can tell somebody, the doctor, whatever told me, would never happen. But look, 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 look at me now. Hallelujah. Wait now. What do I, what do I want to get out of that? What do I want to get out of that? God has to allow you to go through something so your testimony would be real. Be real. If God never allowed you to go through nothing, that, that's no plan for your life. Everybody God uses in a big way, they go through something. Because what they go through is real in their life. They, they don't have to fantasize about nothing. I look at you and I can tell who God will use. Because something is wrong in your life. Uh, and when God straightened it out, oh, oh y'all didn't hear me. Y'all didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. When he straightened it out, then you can come forward and tell somebody else, don't, don't you quit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. So, those folks that are going through some things, it may look dark, it may look dreary, but I stop by to encourage you. Don't, don't you. And, and here comes somebody, everything just going so, so well. They're just sailing through. And, and you are having it tough. Watch it. Watch it. 
If you hold on, God got a blessing for you. All right, hallelujah. Oh Lord. Yeah. Did, did I reach anybody? Did I reach anybody? Hallelujah. All right. But, so that, that's how that's how God works. That if you just sailing through, uh uh. Yeah. yeah. Just watch it. Just watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Now, if maybe if your day is not now, maybe it's down the road. So so be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Because I, I'm I'm saying again, anybody that God gonna use in a big way to testify or tell the story you're gonna have to go through something i mean you're gonna you're gonna you, you, you're gonna stay right there until it hurts all right it's not gonna be easy but god will see you through and you'll be glad to hear along oh uh, somebody somebody thank you lord Thank you for knowledge. Thank you. Thank you for preparing me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do. I got to find a way to hold on. Hold on. Through the storm and the rain. I mean, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me add something like that. God knows your troubles. Amen. He knows what you're going through. Don't fool yourself. He knows. But here, this is how God sees it. God would rather that you give him praises and worship than to solve your problem. He can solve your problem anytime. All he got to do is say, I will. But while you're going through, those he blesses. When you're going through tribulation, when you're having trouble, then you find a way to open your mouth and cry out. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Ah, watch that person. Watch that one. Watch that one. Oh, yes, he will. Watch that one. Find a way to give God praise in the midst of trial and tribulation. Keep on praising. That tell me, God, God. God, if I'm reaching you, tell God thank you. Uh, Yeah. Oh, you can look out among the congregation. You can tell the sheep from the goats. You can 